Good morning to one and all present here. Today I Nisha Kiragiri stand before you all to give a presentation on the topic coordination from model to organizing and staffing. You all already heard about the coordination. The basic definition of coordination is the process of organizing people or groups so that they work together properly and well. Here the coordination is the essence of management and an integral part of all the managerial functions it is also instrumental in binding all the managerial functions in this article we will explore the types of coordinations the types of coordinations we can say internal coordination external coordination vertical coordination horizontal coordination procedural coordination substantive coordination first comes internal coordination internal coordination is all about establishing a relationship between all the managers executives departments divisions branches and employees or workers we can say these relationships are established with a view to coordinate the activities of the organization it is all about beginning or start up of a relationship between all the uh, executives like workers employees and all next comes external coordination as the name suggests external coordination is all about establishing a relationship between the employees of the organization and people outside it in this coordination which is all about the start up of a relationship between uh, only employees of the organization and people uh, who comes outside of it these relationships are established with a view to having a better understanding of outsiders like market agencies public competitors customers government agencies financial institutions and etc now the vertical coordination in vertical coordination a superior authority coordinates his work with that of his subordinates and vice versa for example a sales manager will coordinate his tasks with his sales supervisors on the other hand all sales supervisors ensure that they work in sync with the sales manager next one is horizontal coordination in horizontal coordination employees of the same status establish a relationship between them for better performance for example the coordination between department heads or supervisors or coworkers and etc here we can learn two more coordinations named as procedural coordination and substantive coordination procedural coordination it is mean the specification of organization itself that is the generalized description of the behaviors and relationships of the members of the organization and the substantive coordination is concerned with the content of the organization's activities next the techniques of coordinations which we can say approaches to coordination also under this two points we can learn the a part is basic coordinating techniques and next comes increasing coordination potential under basic coordinating techniques uh, rules procedure and policies planning hierarchy will come rules procedure and policies the specification of rules procedure and policies is a very common device to coordinate sub units in the performance of the repetitive activities now the rules procedure and policies is a very common device which coordinates sub units in the performance of their repetitive activities next the standard policies procedures and rules are laid down to cover all possible situations but as some critics point 
how this device leads to a vicious cycle syndrome in which the dysfunctional consequences of this device lead to a still stronger reliance on it now the vicious cycle syndrome it is a condition in which a disorder gives rise to another that subsequently affects the first that is the breakdown of rules and procedures we get more rules and procedures to take care of the breakdown now next is planning planning answers coordinated effort under planning under planning targets of each department dotted with the target of all other departments for example by fixing the target of 10000 units of additional production and sales for the production and sales departments respectively the head of the organization can be fairly sure that the work of two departments would be coordinated since their targets so demand strategic planning does the task of relating the organization to the environment so as to reduce uncertainty and need for strict and coordination now the next one is hierarchy it is the oldest as well as simplest device for achieving coordination in hierarchy or we can say chain of command by putting interdependent units under one boss coordination among their activities is ensured for example several aspects of materials management including inventory control purchasing receiving stores inspection etc but the manager responsible for coordinating the various sub units can become overloaded with information and forced to make too many decisions coordination may become a major problem when an executive decides where the placement linear activities called orphan operations such as telephone operator receptionist chauffeurs etc can decide to assign such employees to the department that makes the most use of work now the increasing coordination potential under this direct contact we can learn in order to prevent top executives from becoming overloaded with problems as many problems as possible are resolved by the affected employees at lower level by informal contacts strong cross functional link at multiple levels may establish for the purpose in simple direct contact prevent top executive from becoming overloaded with problems which solved by the affected employees at lower level informal contacts next comes the task force this is temporary group made up of representatives from those department which are facing a problem here the task force is temporary group which made up of representative only for those who facing problem it exists only as long as the problem lasts when a solution is reached each participant returns to its normal tasks now the next one is induction inducting the new employee into the new social setting of his work is also a coordinating mechanism the device familiarizes the new to employ with the organization's rules and regulations its dominant norms of behavior values and beliefs and integrates his personal goals with the organizational goals now the next comes indoctrination indoctrination is the process of repeating an idea or belief to someone until they accept it without any criticism or any questions indoctrinating organizational members with the goals and missions of organization this is the device used to commonly in uh, religious and military organizations is still another coordinating device according to gulick the leader should develop in the minds of his followers the desire and will to work together for purpose and according to selznick the major task of a leader is not only to make a policy 
but to build it into the organization's social structure situation where everybody in the organization spontaneously protects or advances its official aims and methods this can be achieved when the leader succeed transforming by indoctrination and other means the neutral body of men into a committed body next comes the incentive incentive means something that encourages you or something that uh, makes you work hard it will be providing interdependent units such as a profit sharing plan which is another mechanism ardent advocates of profit sharing claim that it promotes team spirit and better cooperation between employees and workers between superiors and subordinates and between workers and workers mutuality of interest producers drift and ensures better coordination now next comes liaison department liaison means it is the communication between people or groups who work with each other it is like in some cases where there it is a large volume of contact between two departments a liaison department evolves to handle the transactions this typically occurs between sales and production departments for example packaging company that is processing a particularly large order of container might have a evolution department to make sure that the production department it is the meeting the client's specifications and that delivers will take place on time last comes a workflow is the sequence of steps by which the organization acquires inputs and transforms them into outputs and exports this to the environment it is largely shaped by technological economic and social considerations and helps in coordination next we will move to the topic difficulty of coordination large business enterprises consist of a number of departments such as production purchase sales finance personal etc these departments often find it hard to collaborate with each other due to the differences in their attitudes and working styles paul r lawrence and j w lorsch have identified four such differences there are four such differences which comes under difficulty of coordination differences in orientation towards particular goals members of different departments develop their own views about how best to advance the interest of the organization to sales people product variety may take precedence over product quality accountants may see cost control as important to the organization's success while marketing managers may regard product design as most essential next the differences in time orientation some members of an org- organization such as production managers will be more concerned with problems that have to be solved immediately or within a short period of time others like members of a research and development team may be preoccupied with problems that may takes years to solve now the next is differences in interpersonal orientation in some organizations chess production there may be relatively more formal ways of communicating and decision making in other activities such as r and d the styles of communication and decision making may be informal everyone may be encouraged to have a say and to discuss his ideas with others next is differences in formality of structure each unit in the organization may have different methods and standards for evaluating progresses towards objectives and for rewarding employees in a production department for an example where quantity and quality are rigidly controlled the evaluation and reward process might be quite formal employees will be 
quickly on how they will meet or exceed or well defined performance criteria in personal department on the other hand standards of performance may be much more loosely defined next is the systems approach and coordination we have suggested about that coordination implies the adjusting of the efforts of a number of individuals and of materials or machines so that they come together in the right quantity in the right quality in the right place at the right time by coordination we balance the number of different parts of an organization harmonizing their interaction so that the total organization moves towards and agreed or defined objective the main point is coordinating global operations mna which stands for multinational enterprises which needs coordination mechanism to deal with breadth which is the number of units in the coordination network and diversity which is the number of functions coordinated we described below three integration techniques here or we can say unusual to global operations in which the maintaining a higher ratio of expatriates in the top management teams of those units that play a bigger role in the multinational enterprises global integration this is because the host country managers generally expatriates managers are likely to have a more comprehensive understanding of the mne's overall global strategy here expatriate means a person who lives outside his or her own country now the corporate socialization it is the process through which the unit managers values and norms are aligned with those of the parent mne two key processes through which such socialization is brought about are job rotation across foreign unit and management development programmers involving participants form several other units the last point is selection of entry mode aligned with mne's needs for organizational control and global integration the manner in which a firm chooses to enter a foreign market through foreign direct investment is referred to as entry mode including franchising branches contractual alliances equity joint ventures and wholly foreign own subsidiaries some of these modes enable the mne to maintain greater control and integration than others now the last one is outcomes will learn meaning and characteristics of organization understands the nature and purpose of organization understands departmentation and to know the process of staffing will learn about the supervision motivation leadership and communication explain the process of controlling by establishing of standard performance measurement of actual performance and comparing with standard performance any deviation leads to corrective action will achieve leadership qualities this is the end of the chapter hope you all got a brief explanation about coordination thank you